Hello everyone and welcome to this channel. By the way, I am Eduardo Golpan and in this video, I am going to show you on how to create a key sensitive login form in Microsoft Access. Now, let us start. By the way, this is my login form and also I have a user account table which contains my username and also password. So, we need this uh, two. So, now let us continue this one guys. So, let us add a command button. Just cancel the wizard and then rename this to login. Okay. And then uh, go to event on click. Click the three dots. Code builder. Click OK. So now let us start with if guys. If this is blank and also this one is blank or null. So there should be an error message like if sorry is null me that username this one guys uh, username and also this one is password so then there's a message the message is please enter the correct username okay and then else it is null again and this is for uh, password me that password then there's a message but I have to okay I have to copy this Please enter the correct password and then else if again is null me that username and is null again me that password then the message box is let us copy this please enter the correct username and okay this one password do not forget to put an F okay so now guys let us try okay let's type just like that one please enter the correct password okay there's no more message. Now let us add a dummy text box, guys. But don't worry, but later on uh, we will remove it. So this is just for presentation. Okay. And uh, delete that one. Let us rename this to pass. Okay. So event three dots. I'll put it here me that pass sorry the value of this is equals to i'm gonna use the day look up function guys because i will look up the password here so what i need is the password so i will type the password if you don't know how to create or you don't know how to use the delock a function guys you can watch my video about this i will put the link below the description so the next um parameter is the domain so this is the name of the table or the name of the query so let's go back user account so make sure guys the spelling is correct and then the next uh, parameter is the criteria which is the this one guys username equals single quote double quote and then and me that username so this username guys that's why I use me then that value and double quote single quote double quote and and close parenthesis now let us try guys 
I will type here Eduardo. And then for the password, I will type Gulpan. When I click this login, okay, Gulpan. So this is correct. What if Edsel? And then na uh, Jalibi. Still Jalibi, but as you can see, guys, no, there uh, they are not equal because at the end is uh, capital letter A. So now uh, let us apply the key sensitive function. So let's go back to our BB code and let us uh, add also an else if. Now this is it. str comp in close parenthesis. So string one. So this uh, me pass that dummy password. Me that pass. And in the second one is the me that password. Okay, this one guys, the two of this uh, text box, and then, okay, binary compare, and then in close parenthesis, equals zero or true, then what will happen, there's a message again, message box, the message would be authentication succeeded. You may proceed. So something like this. What if else, else or incorrect? I'll put here a message box again, but I'll put incorrect password. Okay, this is it. So now let us try, guys. So close this let's type like Eduardo my password is Gulpan when I click this login authentication succeeded you may proceed because they are equal what if I will type all small when I click login incorrect password so it should be the same what if this one capital N incorrect again what if this one add cell incorrect password Okay, wrong spelling. Okay, incorrect password. Let us put a capital letter A. Okay, authentication succeeded. You may proceed. So now let us uh, clean the form. Let us delete this. So this is to finalize, guys. Click these three dots. So let us say deleted so let us create a temporary variable like dim pass a string okay and then for this I will delete this and then also this one me because they are not part of the form okay let us try Jalibi, okay, it's correct, but if we put small letter A, incorrect password. What if no username? Okay, there's uh, a bug. Okay, so the error is this is invalid use of null. So don't worry, guys, it's a very simple um, error. Let's type in Z and okay you can just like that now save and let us try again 
Okay? So please enter the correct username. No more bug. And then what if we have this but no password? First enter the correct password. So let's hide the password by putting an, an input mask. So let's go to data and then input mask. Click, click these three dots and then click this password and next finish and let us say Eduardo like Gulpan authentication succeeded let's put that one okay incorrect password I think guys this is enough for this video I hope this video helps you a lot and if you have some questions about this you can comment it down below that's all guys thank you and see you to my next video